I'm back. Rudrance for the Black and White Network. Well, this is the one we've been waiting for. It is DeSantis versus Biden. Hell in a cell, it seems. We're going hell in a cell over what? We're talking about Florida's parental rights and education bill. Because Joe Biden has decided to saunter his old decrepit butt into the ring against one Ron DeSantis. And we know that's a fight he just shouldn't be picking. Let's be real. We know that. DeSantis will crush will crush Joe Biden if it starts coming down to a war of words and a war of policies. DeSantis has got the advantage, as does Trump. We ought to mention that as well. Uh, but the White House decided to come in on this bill, and as you can imagine, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis answered the call. White House has meltdown as Florida Florida's parental rights bill takes effect. <laughs> Good. Good. I still contend. Look, Ron DeSantis, I still contend this bill's not strong enough. I still, look, as much as I like the bill, I think it ought to be K-12. through It just shouldn't be in public schools. It shouldn't be allowed in public schools in any way, shape, form, or fashion. That's the way I feel about it. And, of course, don't forget, this is the bill that Disney sauntered their way into and immediately got slapped down in the mouth. Uh, $63 billion down on their net, on their actual worth on the company since they decided to start this fight with Ron DeSantis. And honestly, that was like six weeks ago. I have no idea how much they've lost on their, their worth as a company since I made that last video. G Governor Ron DeSantis' parental rights and education law will officially take effect on Friday, sparking backlash from the liberal left. Dubbed by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill slash law, several Florida schools have already issued new policies that ban any kind of inappropriate sexual talk in the classroom. That should be a slam dunk in schools. I mean, any parent that's got any kind of moral fiber to them should be 100% behind this bill. The Biden administration made a statement expressing how distraught it is over the law going into place. This is exactly why Democrats are about to get run over in the midterms. Press Secretary Karen Jean-Pierre claimed that Florida students are now, quote, more fearful and less free, calling it, quote, shameful that schools are not allowed to teach minors about explicit sex and groom them to think they are a different gender from how they were born. Jean-Pierre also went on to accuse Republicans of trying to score political points, saying that the law is, quote, part of a disturbing and dangerous nationwide trend of right-wing politicians cynically targeting LGBTQI plus elemental P students, educators, individuals, to score political points. However, DeSantis' re-election campaign called out the repeated lies by the Biden administration, quote, the White House continues to lie about Florida's work to protect children as young as five years old against sexualized lesson plans. DeSantis' pro-parent education agenda stands in stark contrast to the policies coming out of Washington as Joe Biden tries to steal lunch money from our kids to push woke gender ideology, his campaign said in a statement. DeSantis is standing up to the... Uh, standing up to put students first and protect parents' rights, adding that, quote, no false White House statement will change that. Meanwhile, a Tallahassee school district approved its LGBTQ inclusive school guide, which states that parents will be notified if a student who is, quote, open about their gender identity is in their child's gym class or with them or overnight school trip. Bravo. According to the guidelines, reasonable accommodations will be made available so that students don't have room or be near other students who consider themselves part of the LGBTQ community. Quote, upon notification or determination of a student who is open about their gender identity, parents of the affected students will be notified of reasonable accommodation options available. Parents or students who have concerns about rooming assignments for their students' upcoming overnight event based on religious or privacy concerns may request an accommodation, the notice reads. 
Additionally, according to NBC, teachers at Palm Beach School were required to fill out a questionnaire asking them to review all course material and flag any inappropriate references related to sexual orientation, race, or gender identity that they may find good. Good. You know, one of the most disturbing trends and something that a lot of parents have very much taken note of, gotten involved, showed up at school board meetings. We've showed videos on this channel of parents up there slamming the table. I mean, I, I did a video just um, a couple of weeks ago where a, a, a mother was up at a school board meeting and one of her teachers had her daughter do an assignment involving sex. I mean, sex was in the assignment, actual sex, like... Um, I believe the story was related and somebody in the story was given a blowjob. I mean, yeah, it was that serious. And, of course, the mother was furious, as she should be. And that was assigned by the GD school, for crying out loud. I mean, it was somewhere like Portland or, or one of these ultra-liberal areas, but you get the point. That would have been everywhere uh, had our Republican governors not stepped up and stopped this crap. Okay, so... It's good to see Ron DeSantis, of course, pushing back against Biden. It's not the first time he's done it on issues like this. He did it on COVID all over the place, right? He just took that Democratic narrative on COVID and just crumbled it up and then threw it back in their face. And guess what? There are even some outlier Democrats out there that have had to admit Florida has come out smelling like a rose when it comes to uh, everything involving the pandemic, whereas other states have been dropped to their knees and destroyed over it. I mean, it's unbelievable. We still have counties that are masked up when it comes to schools in this country. I just can't imagine being in Texas. It's weird. Uh, so that's a side note, but you get the point. This is not going to be the last of us talking Biden versus DeSantis. Now, I think we all thought, okay, well, it could be Biden versus DeSantis in the presidential election. I Look, there's no way the Democrats can run Joe Biden again. I mean, they just can't do it. They just can't do it because by the time we get to that, this will have absolutely gone down as one of probably the most disastrous presidential reigns we've ever seen. I mean, we knew it was going to be bad, but this has been monumentally bad. This has been different level bad. This has been much worse than we thought it was going to be and very quickly, too. That's the thing. And God, it's only July 2nd, 2022, for crying out loud. We got a long way to go. A long way to go. Uh, so, yeah, it's issues like this. And we, we've seen uh, parents come out and state, very frankly, they've been told by like school boards and, and certain counties and certain schools that it was none of their business what was going on in the school involving their children which is unfathomable to me that any school or anybody working for school or anybody, liberals, et cetera, believe that parents should stay out of their, the, their children's education and what's going on in a public school. Are you mental? I mean, unbelievable. That's fundamentally the way it's supposed to be done. It has to be done that way. And if you think otherwise, you've got no business being anywhere around the school system, period. Of course, a parent is going to step up and want to know exactly what's going on with their children at school. And that and nothing like that should ever be hidden ever. Tell me what you think. Black and white network supporters. Ron DeSantis. This is the very bill. They don't say gay bill. They ought to say, they ought to call it the. Dumped on Disney bill because this is the bill that got Disney in a hell of a bind. And now the White House and DeSantis are feuding over that bill. This should be kind of entertaining actually going forward because we know how DeSantis is going to chop him up. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA first, all one word. USA first, all one word. 25% off now.